fiber to fabric. Good morning, students. Good, Good morning, morning ma'am. Ma students, today we will learn about fibers. Do any of you know what is a fiber? Ma'am, fibers are long, flexible and thin thread-like structures. They are used to make yarns. These yarns are combined together to make different kinds of fabric. You are right, Jack. Based on their origin, fibers are classified into two types, natural fibers and synthetic fibers. Does anyone know what are natural fibers? Natural fibers are fibers that are obtained from natural sources. Some natural fibers are cotton, wool, etc. That's correct, Ria. Natural sources of fiber are plants and animals. So, on the basis of sources, natural fibers can be further divided into two types, that is, plant fibers and animal fibers. As the name suggests, plant fibers are those that are obtained from plants. For example, cotton and jute. Cotton is a soft fiber that grows in a ball around the seeds of cotton plants. Ma'am, where are cotton plants grown in India? Cotton is a warm season crop which requires moderate rainfall. It needs fertile clay soil with good moisture holding capacity. The black soil found in western India and southern India and alluvial soil in northern India are suitable for growing cotton. Jute is another source of plant fiber. It is a long, soft and shiny fiber that can be spun into coarse, strong threads. Jute is made from the stem of jute plants. It grows best in alluvial soil, receiving silt from annual floods, as in the Sundarbans Delta in India and Bangladesh. Did you know that almost 85% of the world's jute cultivation is concentrated in the Sundarbans Delta in India and Bangladesh? Wow, wow. That, that is really, really interesting. interesting. Now, can anyone tell me about animal fibers? Ma'am, as the name suggests, fibers that are obtained from animals such as wool from the hair of sheep and some other animals are animal fibers. That's great, Alice. You explained the animal fiber as well, using an example. Did you know the process of removing the wool from sheep using clippers is called shearing? Silk is another animal fiber. It is obtained from the cocoon of the silkworm. Each silkworm spins a continuous thread up to 800 meters long to make a cocoon. Now let us understand the synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are man-made fibers. They're actually plastics made from chemicals that are obtained mostly from petroleum. Nylon and polyester are some examples of synthetic fibers. Ma'am, can you please tell us how synthetic fibers are made? The plastic is first heated to melt it. Then it is forced through a device called spinneret, which has fine holes. The long threads that emerge from the holes are allowed to cool and solidify. Several of these threads are twisted together to make yarn, which is then used to make synthetic cloth. Ma'am, are there any advantages of synthetic fibers? Yes, synthetic fibers have several advantages over natural fibers. Synthetic fibers are easy to maintain, cheaper and easily available as compared to natural fibers. They are durable and do not wrinkle easily. So students, that was all for the day. Thank, Thank you ma'am for telling us all these things. You're welcome students. Bye. Bye ma'am. Ma